Germany clock in for their very first appearance at these championships. A special anniversary edition, in fact, games held across multiple nations. A true pan-European tournament that is a reflection of the pan-European nature of the game. And this is where it all starts for them. 11 players, many of them friends, some foes during the league season, now united for a single cause as they carry the hopes and expectations of a nation in this grand quadrennial event. Ahead of us, a month of non-stop adrenaline rush. I trust you are strapped in comfortably for what will be, at least for partisan parties, the most unbearable, thrilling of emotional roller coasters. No question that this is one of the great capital venues of the Netherlands, the Johan Cruyff Arena, Amsterdam. Well, they have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. So it is upon us, their opening game, and what they hope will be the first of many fine games in this championship. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players, of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. And that gets things running. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, N'Golo Kante. He is only one midfielder, but it often feels like he does the work of two or three. He's got exceptional awareness for danger and the stamina to make sure he can go and, and snuff it out over and over again if required. He's also exceptional in the tackle. And when you watch him, in the latter parts of a game, 90th minute plus. He looks as if he's in the first five. Yeah, he would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Plenty waiting in the middle. And he heaves it forward. Mbappe. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. It's not taken him long. And that's going to be a booking. Defending of the desperate variety. Werner. Rudy. Across the field it goes. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Pavard. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Well, each team knows that they're still well below standard, and it's a question of uh, which can uh, find a way out. Rudy. Ginter. Gnabry. Kimmich. Kimmich. 
On a strong run down the right. Goes for the cross. And it's hoisted clear. And it's turning... It's cross! It's anyone's ball. Loris can pick that up. And that's been won straight back. Giroud. Mbappe. Griezmann opts to play it back. Fires it in low. Great challenge. Time to perfection. Gnabry. Kimmich. Tony Kroos. Out to the left it goes. Helps available out wide. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Conte. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. And the weighted pass. Up for the header! Hit in his head, but couldn't steer it in. Good enough. <laughs> France are making a change now. And here's Griezmann. Griezmann up to meet it. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Jules is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. And it's Canabri. That's a terrific surge down the right. Werner. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Good take, and he's good for it! Pavar. Griezmann. Pavar. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Both, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's, there's much to criticise. They've got to keep doing what they've been doing, and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hoping for them. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil.
Here we go again. So, deadlock still as the second half begins. Mbappe looking to run onto it. Griezmann. More than happy to take the muscular approach. And here's Giroud. And it's Mandy. Beautifully done. Whipped it. Towering header. And it's a goal. And that has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They're obviously hoping for an early second half boost, but there are a few who can truly make it happen. And this is a very welcome tonic now. France are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Germany are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. A 1-0 lead established. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Royce. Gnabry. Now it's Sané. Sané turns and goes back. Tony Kroos. Quick grants a goal, going for goal! And the keeper barely had to move. Werner simply had to do better than that. He blew a great chance for me. Pavard gets into a good position. Cleared away. Chooses to go back. Shot a goal! Their response to falling behind has been very strong. They just need a converter to step up now. Kimmich tries to get it forward quickly. Just ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. And here's Canabri. Canabri, real chance! Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Giroud has been withdrawn here, but he's certainly made his mark. Well, has he done enough since his goal? Is the feeling that he's lost his appetite for another? It's difficult to be sure exactly what the thinking is, but his race has certainly run now. Big chance! So here comes the substitution. And it's been taken short. And it's Tony Cross. He could be in here. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. And that's been leave it clear. Gnabry. 
Royce. Royce. Going through. Royce proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. And it's hoisted clear. Can take foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. it away finds it well, that's surely a foul free kick Canabry. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Fakir. Mendy. Set up one goal so far. And he's going long. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Gnabry played out to the right. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Conte, Mondi, Matuidi, Ford shows there will be three extra minutes. Oh, what a ball! Plays it back. He's had a shot! Well, that's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Well, it's a pretty poor start, there's no disguising it. All they can do is to try to recover it from here on in. It is a tough test. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Listen, sometimes going into chase mode can bring out the best in teams, and we're about to discover if this one has the substance needed to prevail. If they have it, the only way is up. <laughs> 